Hi, my name is Miguel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recover your iTunes backup password using iTunes key. You can find the link to this program in the description box below. iTunes key is compatible with Windows XP through Windows 10. The installation process is extremely simple. Once installed, go ahead and run it. You'll be prompted with few options here. I'll go over them with you. The first one is to select the iTunes backup file, the .plist. This is where iTunes saved your password. The directory is in a hidden location. The easiest way to get there is by clicking on the three dots to the right, this one here, and select your backup ID. You might have several of them. Make sure to select the recently modified one, which would be your latest backup. Then scroll all the way down to select the manifest.plist. You can double click to select it or select it and click on open. Okay, now once we have it selected, we need to select the recovery method, brute force attack, mask attack, or dictionary attack. If you select brute force attack, you will need to know the password length and if you remember any character sets. For example, if your password contains about 15 characters, then your maximum length would be 15. And character sets, if it includes lowercase, uppercase, symbols, and numbers. The more options you check, the longer it will take to recover the password. And then click on next. But in this case, I'm going to go back because I'm going to use a different method to recover my password. I'll use mask attack. This is in case you can remember part of the password. Say for example, the password was happy123 then you would enter happy and then three question marks. I'll show you how it works because this is a method we're going to use to recover my password. Then you have dictionary attack. This is for any user who have used a simple word. You can use the default dictionary or you can download a dictionary and then select it by clicking on the three dots, browse, and select a down, your downloaded dictionary, and then click on next, and it will uh, try to get the password in case you used a simple word. Now to recover my password, I'll select the recommended, which is mask attack. So I know I remember the first character, which is eight. It's a four uh, characters long, so I'll enter eight and then question mark, question mark, and then two, because I know it starts with an eight and ends with a two. So the two numbers I don't know, I fill in with a question mark and then click on next. Keep in mind, for a faster recovery, you would need a good video card. In my case, I have a GTX 970. Now here it is, 8692. Now that I've recovered my password, I can restore my device from iTunes. So I'll click on OK here. Exit. OK, now I'll start iTunes. And then restore my, my phone in this case using the uh, recover password. Thank you for watching.